Hey guys, we're back for another caffeinated conversation. I'm Maria, and today I'm super excited because I have Megan Ashley Sokolowski with us, and uh, she works as a stylist, and her whole focus is helping uh, Catholic women achieve their dream wardrobe. So who doesn't love that? So I'm really excited. Megan is a dear friend of mine, and I wanted to share her wealth with you because there's so many things, and uh, what we're gonna talk today uh, is about cleaning your closet. And I just did this. Megan has these tips and I just did them and like it's changed my life. So we want to share it with you. Um, first, mm -hmm. how do you take your coffee? Um, extra hot <laughs> with a little bit of milk. Okay. Actually, it kind of depends on my mood, but it always has to be really hot. Not a big ice. Coffee. Do you have to reheat it? Because by the time All you're the done time, with your... I actually give up the microwave for Lent. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> Just so you have to get for the coffee specifically? Or oh my gosh, that's amazing. Coffee, hot chocolate, and tea. <laughs> that's why I have nothing left. You're just, just like hailing down. I know there is coffee in here. A lot of times you guys complain, <laughs> but what happens is that we're sitting here, the camera guys are shoot, setting up the shot, and then we drink it, and then by the time we're rolling, it's down at the bottom. So there, there is coffee. So anyhow, okay. Um, I want to talk about your closet cleanse. So take us through. I did this, but take us through. Tell us like what are the the what do you suggest if you're just trying to purge and do spring cleaning? So first would just be wearability. Like just look at your closet and grab each piece and try and think of the last time you really wore it. Because I have so much stuff. I'm like, oh, I love this. This is so cute. Like, yeah. oh, I want to wear it to like this type of night, or I can wear it to work or whatever. But like, do you really wear it? Like. Yeah, you really have to like <laughs> take it. Really in. want it? Well, because you said is one of part of that saying um, like, would you pay double for this now? Mm -hmm. Do you love this shirt? Mm -hmm. Would you pay? Would you pay twice for it to mm -hmm. keep it in your closet? Yeah, like how much it shouldn't be. I think a lot of times people buy clothes and they're like, well, it's twelve dollars. Like, is it worth twelve dollars? Whereas the question should be more like, is this? It should fill a gap in your closet. So like, is this gap in my closet worth X amount of okay. money? And so when you're shopping, you almost don't really at the price <laughs> yeah that's it's just like if it's worth it like then it's worth it okay um and then when you do put more money out for something you'll uh take care of it better and appreciate it and you really will love it if you are spending that much money it's true it. okay what's number two um wearability is and then fit yes okay fit is really big because there's oh i just can't stand <laughs> it in the mornings like when i would have like something only fit like sometimes like if I had like one or two stresses extra pounds, you out yes. and like you're on that like <laughs> second pound and you put it on and then you're like ah! and it's then you're true. so cranky in the morning and like your whole day it's is true. like true or if it's too complicated I feel like so mm. yeah so yeah fit oh yeah you mentioned like wearing it with certain skirts or it can only fit yeah. with this jean or like you yeah. have to wear a shirt underneath it sometimes mm -hmm. if it's like too fussy so but I think that all falls into fit because it's mm -hmm. if it's just easy then you're like okay this is good this doesn't stress me out yeah I think like is like finding your stress pieces is really really big because like what well, is it's like you have to get dressed in the morning <laughs> and like how many pieces are causing you stress like a lot of them so yes. even if like you don't put them on you're still looking at it and that's like the first thing you do when you like get up and you're like you know getting excited for your day yeah. and then you also have this like wonky like oh do I eat this top I don't like this and you just feel gross and you don't want that it's morning, true or it's ever. true and you don't think that your clothes are stressing you out but as soon as you pointed that out I was like wow there mm -hmm. are a lot of pieces that stress me out I didn't I would never have pinpointed as that so yeah. okay what's number three number three is um, quality Yes. So is it even in good condition? Hmm. Like is it nappy or is there a hole in it or blah, 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 you know. Okay, what's number four? Number four is mood. So when you put it on, like do you just feel pretty? Hmm. Like you might feel fine and you might feel ugly or gross or, but like you should feel pretty. And I think like the biggest, when I styled at a boutique, the biggest thing you could see is when someone went into the dressing room and came out and like their whole face, like mm. you could just see like they, they look like light and like elated. Like, and it sounds like kind of stupid, like, oh, it's just clothes, but like it really is like, you can tell, and sometimes it can help to like text a friend picture. Yeah, and what you're communicating. Cause yeah, mm -hmm. if you feel good, then you're gonna instantly look better and more confident to people cause you're, you feel really good about how you feel. Yeah. Is that, you feel really good about how you look. <laughs> 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 um, okay, and then is there is there five? There's five. There's five. What, last one. Last one is style. Okay. So it might fit all the other four category, categories, but is this piece bringing me like to where I want to be with my closet? Is it giving the image 
um, I want to convey. I like that one so much. That freed me up to get rid of so many pieces that are like still really good quality and nice, but that don't really, yeah, they don't communicate. It sounds dumb, but it doesn't communicate like what mm -hmm. I would like to be communicating now about myself. It maybe communicated that a couple years ago, but your fashion is always evolving. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Um, I love it because, okay, so I did these five. I just hadn't seen another cleanse, like a closet cleanse like these. So basically everything Megan just went through, these five things, you have to yes answer yes to every single piece in your closet for these. And if it doesn't answer yes, it goes in the donate pile <laughs> or the sell pile, so I don't sell it on Poshmark or Facebook Marketplace or wh whatever you do. And, um, or donate it. And so that was really tough because there were certain ones like I would get all four mm -hmm. and then I'd be like, oh, but it doesn't really communicate what I want to be communicating about myself. Yeah. So it was so cool. I ended up donating five bags of clothes. I didn't even know I had five bags of clothes to donate. And it was so cool because I took them to my local parish and we have, it's called the Dorothy Day Center. Mm -hmm. And so they have like homeless people in to have like a lunch or um, people just have really low income families and it's hard to get everyone, you know, um, clothed and so I was able to donate it and they all these different women were in the center having lunch and they just like like swarmed in on the clothes that I brought in and they were so excited and because it was nice to be giving pieces that were still like really high quality and um, that, mm -hmm. that maybe just didn't fit me but fit mm -hmm. them perfectly. And I guess I had never donated clothes before and seen the people that it went to and they were ooing and eyeing and it was just, it was such a moment and it was, yeah, and, and it, it made me realize when you aren't donating something, it's almost kind of robbing the poor. Like mm -hmm. this is a coat that, that that you're keeping, um, and even if you don't wear it, like that really, that actually doesn't belong to you. It belongs mm. to someone else. And that, I like read that scripture. There's mm. something in there, I don't know how it goes, but um, I got to see that lived out when they were so excited. And a lot of them really needed winter coats yeah. and things like that, so. So it's really, really helpful. It changed my oh, life. Now my closet yeah, yeah. is stress-free. It's, you saw it. It's just Yeah, like, it looks beautiful. It's clean, clean. So I recommend you guys try this out. Megan has a ton of other tips as well for, how to find the perfect jeans, and just like, I don't know, what are some of your other blogs? Um, jeans, how to pack, um, those. That one's good. One on how to online shop, like the smartest way. Okay. Most efficient. So, so many different tips. So yeah, it's very practical, it's really helpful. So where do they go to find you? And, and even if you're available for styling too. And yeah, so I also do um, personal shopping and lookbooks for people who okay. have, like kind of need a little extra boost. Yeah, just a little. So that's well, really fun, I enjoy that. But you can go to um, Megan Ashley Styling and yeah. Okay, MeganAshleyStyling.com? Yeah. Okay, perfect. So follow Megan, try the closet cleanse. If you do, let us know in the comments below how it goes. We wanna hear. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe, Ascension Presents. And we'll check you guys out next time. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for joining me. Yes. Yeah.